And finally, gold prices have experienced a slight increase today, staying close to the record peak achieved in previous session. The rise is primarily due to consistent purchases from central banks and investors keeping an eye on the U.S. Federal Reserve policy meeting minutes and inflation data for potential indicators. Now, spot gold is currently up by 0.2% at $2,343.76 per ounce, following its record high of $2,353.79 on Monday. Meanwhile, U.S. gold features have gained 0.5% and reached $2,362.60. Tim Waterham, the chief market analyst and KCM, Trade describes gold as the preferred asset in financial markets as central bank purchases and speculative flows consistently drive its price higher. Mabuye Nini Piri, who is a senior market analyst at xs.com, provides further insights. So as we've seen in the last couple of days, gold prices surged nearing all-time highs, a trend that has continued yesterday and today, reaching $2,350 an ounce during the trading hours of the day. I'm convinced this is firstly driven by a strong central bank buying as investors awaited U.S. Federal Reserve meeting minutes and inflation data with talks and sentiment pointing to a rate cut happening in June. This uptick in gold also prompts questions about its impact on the local currencies when we look at the recent level of the U.S. dollar czar exchange rate. I believe there are intricate dynamics at play. Firstly, the South African rand being linked to gold exports can be swayed by fluctuations in the gold price. Nonetheless, factors like economic indicators and geopolitical events must also be considered as they do have an impact. I believe we need to monitor gold's influence on the currency markets, particularly its potential effects on our currency as they adapt to evolving market conditions.